Hi there, Perfecto de Castro here and welcome to my channel. I hope you're having an awesome day and I hope it is just as awesome as the day I'm about to have. Today is going to be a little different from my usual YouTube content as I am right now heading to my backyard mountain bike trail where I will be taking you through a first ride of a bike that I am very much excited about. The Ruroc Cordillera. So we're pedaling towards the entrance of Monroe Truck Trail here in Lindora, California. Kahit naka-open yung shock, madali pa jack. <laughs> VPP. <laughs> I think this trail will be a good testing ground for the Cordillera's capabilities. It's got a little bit of everything. Technical uphill and really flowy downhill. So here we go. Okay, so we finally hit dirt. So far, I can feel the suspension being very active in the small bumps, but not robbing me of my pedaling efficiency. To totally not alienate my regular viewers. I will be providing all the background music that you'll hear in this video. There will be two kinds of shred in this video. Mountain bike shred, guitar shred. Jump, jump, jump! <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Woo -hoo. Rock and roll. So here's the start of the real climb. <sighs> Since this is somewhat of a mellow climb, I'm going to take this time to tell you all about the rock bikes, what they are and what the Cordillera is all about. So Rurok Bikes is a Filipino company and the Cordillera, it's the first Pinoy designed full suspension mountain bike. Now it is designed in the Philippines by an all Filipino team, but the bikes themselves are manufactured in Taiwan. Now the Cordillera is aimed towards the trail slash all mountain slash enduro rider, which is why it's named after the uh, mountainous region of Northern Philippines. So in my recent trip to the Philippines, I met up with the Free Rock Bikes team. We even got to test ride one of their first production bikes. And I must say, I was very impressed. And it immediately made me wonder how it would handle my local trails here in Southern California. Loose, dry, dusty, and oftentimes chunky conditions differ a lot from the tropical trails in the Philippines. Woohoo! out! Oh. Some notes about this build. This is not the final version of this bike. Since I am itching to ride, I actually borrowed some parts. Cassette shifters, wheels, and all that are from my other bike. They don't fit quite as well, but it's good enough to tide me over until my other parts come in. That being said, I'm doing this climb without the help of my 42 tooth rear cog because the chain is too short. So I'm charging up this hill using a 34 tooth chain ring in the front and a 36 tooth cog in the back. Oh, it's a lot of work. We are approaching the first lookout on this trail. I'm gonna stop and catch my breath. Ah, yes. <laughs> Jay Alonso is going to uh, take the Cordillera for a spin. And there he goes. Dino tayo magikita sa taas. So I'm happy and proud to know that. I've signed on as a brand ambassador for the Rock Bikes where I will be riding my own Cordillera around the Southern California trails, maybe enter a few races, shoot some videos, and product testing in the future. That's awesome. Woo! Okay, coming up to the second lookout, and this is probably the highest we'll go today. Take a look at this view. We're gonna start to downhill now. Let's see how the Cordillera handles it. 
Woo! Very active suspension. And just rolls so effortlessly. Turns on a dime too. Accelerates nicely. Ah! <laughs> Bites in the corners nicely too. Yeah. It's probably the most active suspension I have ever ridden. Oh, runs. Yeah. Woo. Woo. Woo -hoo -hoo -hoo. It's eating everything up. Okay, corner, corner, fast corner. Ah. <laughs> I may need to slow down the rebound a little bit, but so far it's tracking nicely. Slide of this corner. Yeah, accelerate out the corner. Oh, a little mound. Jump. A little jump right here. Ah, yeah. Okay, I like how the bike just hugs the trail. Right now we have very dry and loose conditions, but this is confidence inspiring, knowing that I'm not gonna slip, and all these bumps are just being soaked up by the suspension. It's great. Woo! There's this little rock drop thing that I like doing. There it is. Yeah. <laughs> Feels like a really little center of gravity. You can turn really quickly. Okay, coming up to another jump. <laughs> Bike safety right there. Landed a little crooked, but I'm still upright. Nice. Oh, it is so much fun. Little jump. No matter how chattery it gets, the wheels stay planted on the ground. It's awesome. Going to the run. Pump it. Yeah. Woo! In a lot of respects. This reminds me of a miniature downhill bike. Just eats everything up in its path. And the more you pump it, the faster it goes. Yeah! So much more that. Yeah, that was as tight as I've taken that, uh, that corner right there. Okay, here comes the G out. Yeah! <laughs> okay, if you can handle it, this bike does not want you to touch your brakes. Just rail the corner and go through all the chatter bumps and lean as far as you can and just let the bike do its thing. Yeah! <laughs> yeah! Encourages you to be active on the bike, not just be a passive passenger. And we're at the end of the flowy downhill. Now we're on the uh, riverbed, loose rocks. So this will be a good test for the suspension. Dropping into the riverbed. No problem maneuvering through the tight corners. And this is slippery trail right here. 
So if you don't have your suspension dialed, you lose all your momentum or slide out. Rock. Corner, 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 go over the rock. Yeah. <laughs> Almost. Now save it. Yeah. Rock, 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 rock. Nice. I'm not even pedaling. And I'm going through everything. Just pump and the bike will do the rest. Roof hook. And we're almost at the end. Woohoo! Okay, there you have it. That's the first ride of the Rurok Cordillera. If you dug this video, please give it a thumbs up, like, share, and subscribe to my channel. And uh, I'll see you guys again soon. Happy trails.